Hey everyone, it's Nicole from KenHub, and in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the functions of the semitendinosus muscle, which is this muscle you can see here isolated on the screen. Now I want to begin by saying that the semitendinosus is a posterior thigh muscle, which means it is located in the posterior compartment of the thigh, as you can see here, between the buttocks and the popliteal fossa. As we know, in order for muscles to carry out their proper function, there must be a good nerve supply and the semitendinosus is no exception. It's innervated by the tibial nerve, which is this nerve you can see here, highlighted in green. It's the tibial division of the sciatic nerve. The semitendinosus is actually one of three large muscles located in the posterior compartment of the thigh, the three muscles being the semitendinosus, the semimembranosus, and the biceps femoris muscles. These three posterior thigh muscles are also sometimes referred to together as the hamstrings. The fibres of the semitendinosus muscle originate or have their origin on a palpable protrusion of the surface of the ischium called the ischial tuberosity. This muscle originates from the medial aspect of the ischial tuberosity and has a shared common tendon at its origin with the long head of the biceps femoris, which as I mentioned, also happens to be one of the hamstring muscles. The muscle belly of the semitendinosus has a fusiform shape and the muscle fibres go on top to form a tendon just below the mid-thigh. The tendon crosses the collateral ligament, as you can see here, and goes on to insert medially on the superior surface of the tibia. You should also probably know that two other tendons from the gracilis and sartorius muscles attach at the attachment of the tendon of the semitendinosus. These three tendons together are referred to as the pes anserinus, because the point at which the tendons attach together looks like a goose's foot, and the Latin translation of pes anserinus, quite literally, is goose foot. <coughs> Likewise, the semitendinosus has an interesting backstory to its name. As the muscle tapers off to form tendons at its insertion, and as the word semi means half, you can see where the name semitendinosus comes from, quite literally, as half of the muscle is made up of a tendon. Now let's look at the actions that this muscle can carry out. We've already seen that the semitendinosus is one of the hamstring muscles found in the posterior thigh. So as you can see, along with the two other hamstring muscles, the semitendinosus acts on the hip joint and the knee joint. When we look at the action of the semitendinosus at the hip joint, we can see from this movement here that it extends the thigh. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.